What's up guys, Jesse Minchu with GetHandles.com. Today I'm gonna break down one of the most deceptive moves in the game so you can add it to your game. It's the half spin. Okay, so you don't see as many players do the half spin as you used to back in the day, but the players that do use it nowadays, like Steph Curry, Kyrie Irving, Chris Paul, they do it better than I've ever seen anyone do it. So if you can get it off like that, you're gonna have your way with your defenders. So what we're gonna do with this is basically everything should be like your spin move pretty much. So whichever hand has the basketball, you're gonna pull the ball back. You wanna be tight to your defender for this. You're gonna pull the ball back with that hand, that same side foot's gonna move back, just like in your regular spin move. The only difference is normally in your spin move, I'm gonna come and bring this foot all the way to about here and then dribble the ball down and switch hands. On the half spin, you're gonna start about square to the basket. So no matter where you are on the court, if I'm here, I'm gonna be square to the basket. If I'm here, I'm gonna be square to the basket. And if you're on the three-point line, an easy way to make sure of that is your, your toes should be you know, about equal distance from the three-point line. And all you're gonna do is come from that position and then get your feet in that same position so they're about equal distance from the three-point line just with the heels by it instead of the toes, okay? So you're gonna come from here, here. Now, key thing on this is, it, it depends with where your defender is. If your defender is here and you have a lot of space over here, then you can bring the ball more to the side to help sell that fake more like you're gonna complete the spin. However, if your defender's a little tighter to you or you think they're gonna react on this movement here and come out here, if you think they're gonna be here, then you wanna keep the dribble more kind of between your legs back here where it's protected so if my defender's here, they can't get their hand on the basketball. Now, the reason this move works really well is because one, you can do it close to your defender. And anytime you're close to your defender, it's a lot easier to get past them in one step, in your first step, right? If they're really far away, I can't get past them, but if they're tight, I can. This is a good way to kind of set them up to misdirect them to come this way, and then you could just push the ball back this way. So coming from here, dribbling straight down, and then just pushing it back forward, okay? But the other thing that's great about this is if you combo move from this, you're gonna really throw your defender for a loop because they don't see this move too much to begin with. So then you can go, go into a lot of combos from that as well. So one thing you could do is like what Kyrie has done a few times, being from this half spin and going right into a crossover all on that one dribble. You gotta do it quick though to make sure you don't carry. Basically your hand can't come over halfway under the ball, otherwise it's gonna be called for a carry. But if you can get it off, or you can do it all in one motion real quick, you're not gonna get called for a carry, you'll be okay. And basically all you're gonna do is push that foot forward while you're pushing the ball forward. So it's all done with one foot, one hand, and then you're gonna cross over right from that motion. Or you could even come from this half spin to a regular dribble and then step back. Steph Curry's also used this quite a bit. A lot of times he'll do it more just half spin, then come back forward and then see what his options are and then he'll combo from there. But he'll just take that regular dribble back forward here and then kind of read his defender. But again, it's, a, it's just a great little setup move to kind of get your defender moving and throw them with something you know, unexpected. And then from there, you take advantage of the situation. So look, if you found these moves helpful, I have a way for you to take these moves and put them on overdrive. Click this link in the top right hand corner of the screen. That's gonna send you to a workout. It's like a combination between like a warm up and a ball handling workout. That's not just gonna be a more than a warm up though. It's gonna help you make your moves more explosive, improve your balance, your range of motion, how quick and how powerful you are with all your moves and a whole bunch of other things. Just click this link, pop in your email and I'll send that to you instantly. It's 100% free. There's no credit card required or anything like that. Otherwise, if you're on a mobile device, just click the link in the description down below. It's gethandles.com. And as always, if this video helped you, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment down below if there's anything else you wanna see from the channel. I get all my ideas for the videos down below and I try to reply to as many comments as I can. So if you have any questions or anything else you wanna see, leave a comment down below. That's where I can, you know, 
get you guys what it is that you need to improve your game. And as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button and get on that notification squad so you can catch all the newest tips, tutorials, drills, move breakdowns like this and all that. Every single thing I come out with on my channel is gonna help you get better. And share this video with a friend. You and a friend can work on these moves with each other. That's one of the best ways to improve most quickly is to work with a training partner on these same moves and you know you guys can notice details and things that you can improve. You'll improve a lot more quickly by doing that. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more and get after your goals today.